This movie shows the basic functionality of the Proteus Licensing Web Portal. This console lets owners of Proteus Cloud Licenses manage and monitor their license usage. When you purchase a cloud license, you'll receive admin login credentials to the web portal. This is the master login for your organization. When you log in, you are presented with the dashboard view. The dashboard includes a heartbeat monitor, which shows the current usage of the license associated with the selected division. You'll also get quick links underneath and a menu on the left-hand side. The license page shows all of the purchased licenses available to the organization along with a number of seats. The division view is where we see the allocation of each license within the organization. Each division created is allocated one license key. For example, a company might create a division for each office or a university for each department using Proteus. The names and passwords for the divisions can be changed at any time by admin users. At this point, we have a working system. In our example, anyone with the engineering credentials can log on and access a license from the license key assigned to the engineering division. Also, anyone with the physics credentials can log on and use one of those licenses. Licenses will be granted on a first come, first served basis. Administrators can use IP filters to set an allowable IP address range per division. Normally, these would be set as the outbound IP address of the campus VPN to ensure that connection to the VPN is required for the use of the Proteus software. This is fine for basic use, but often we need to reserve licenses for a particular purpose or to a particular person. This is what groups are for. We create groups whenever we need to reserve seats at a given time. Each group gets a name and a password that members can log on with. Commercially, this may be to reserve seats to a team or a project, but in our example, we'll set up a classroom for engineering and also just one for the engineering instructor. We'll also set up another classroom in the physics division. The calendar colors just help us differentiate between reservations on the calendar. For large organization, a CSV list with group names and passwords can be imported to save time with initial setup. Now we use the reservation system to make sure we have seats we need whenever we need them. Here, we'll create a reservation on the engineering class for 50 seats for a couple of hours each weekday until the end of term. During the reservation time, 50 seats will be removed from the license pool and guaranteed to be available to the engineering class group. In our example, the license pool therefore shrinks from 100 seats to 50 seats whilst this reservation is active. Anyone logging in with the group credentials during this time will always get a license. Anyone logging in with other credentials will use one of the remaining 50 seats in the pool. At the end of the reservation period, the 50 seats are released back to the division pool. Now, regardless of the credentials used to log in, everyone is once again using the 100 seats now in the pool. We can see our reservations on the calendar view and can also quickly add other reservations here. This time, we'll add a permanent reservation for the instructor's use and then a weekly reservation for the physics class. Since we're logged on as the organization admin, we can see all the reservations on a common calendar and we can create groups and reservations for all divisions. It's often useful to give each division a login so they can manage their own license usage. We do this from the administration link. Creating a division admin allows a technician or instructor in a division to manage the use of license keys. 
This is particularly important when each division is actually a separate office or campus, but is also useful where a division is a department in a college. If we set up a division admin for engineering department and then log in with the division credentials, we'll only see the groups and reservations for the engineering department. This will be true of the usage metrics as well. Divisional admins will see the usage of their division, while organisational admins will see an overview of usage across all divisions in the organisation. Administrators on the web portal can look at the server logs to examine user activity. Various types of log are available, and the logs can be filtered based on simple date ranges. Error conditions include short descriptive messages to help clarify problems. 